that sunshine on its way. A lot of 4th of July celebrations will continue today and safety officials are reminding you to be careful. Jordan Yotis with Jefferson County Fire is joining us now live. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Grace. Bryce, let's keep that forecast. I have boating plans myself today. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. So Jordan, a lot of people, of course, like you will be celebrating outside and some of those celebrations will include fireworks and we'll get to some safety tips for those for in a minute. But first, let's start with daytime. Many people like yourself will be out on a waterway and some pools. So what are some things for them to keep in mind? The biggest things on waterways like uh, lakes and rivers is life jackets. We see time and time again. Uh, countless drownings each year by folks not properly wearing uh, their life vest. The other thing is with swimming pools, kids left unattended. Uh, you know, we've said for the last couple of years the term pool watcher, someone that's constantly watching the pool uh, while young kids are swimming. Uh, take turns every 30 minutes switching up with an adult just so somebody's always watching the pool. It can happen in a matter of seconds. And today is going to be very hot, so that brings up another concern. How should people store their fireworks so that they don't prematurely go off? Properly in a climate controlled uh, building like we are now because it started raining. Uh, you don't want to keep those fireworks in a hot garage or the trunk of your car, uh, just like you wouldn't keep a full gas can uh, in the trunk of your car or in a garage. So keep it in a climate cooled controlled building uh, just in case. And when that sun does go down and people start to shoot off those fireworks, how can they do so safely? Staying away from buildings, staying away from cars, things of that nature, uh, never turning your back. Uh, once you light the firework and one thing we see often time and time again is people going back to relight the firework after it doesn't ignite initially. So once you, lit, once you light it once, don't go back and try to relight it. And with those fireworks, not all of them are legally allowed to be lit by civilians. So what are some of the fireworks that are okay to light off for, say, your common neighborhood party? Yeah, so the fireworks that you see here, uh, the ordinance here is anything that leaves the ground, uh, for example, uh, bottle rockets, um, Roman candles, anything like that that leaves the ground is illegal in this area. The things you see here are legal. Uh, most of these things are just uh, a light display or something of that nature, but anything that leaves the ground is in fact illegal. So if you're going to do it yourself, we ask that you use uh, things that you see here um, or leave it to the professionals. And as you've been mentioning throughout the morning, one of those that we just saw, the sparkler, that actually is responsible for a lot of injuries to children. So, Jordan, I'm going to have you light that off right now and kind of demonstrate to us the proper way to do so to stay safe. Yeah, and the other thing, too, with uh, sprinklers or sprinkler sparklers, uh, they're actually the most dangerous uh, type of firework that there is. Uh, most people wouldn't believe that, and especially as it's going to continue to be dry tomorrow and the next day, uh, once you're done with these, you don't want to throw these in grass uh, for sure. You can notice there he is holding it at the very end, well away from the active part of the firework as he lights it. Maybe. If the rain is going to hold off long enough for you to ignite it, we'll have to see. There we go. So these are obviously also a, a, a child's favorite, um, but they're just, they're not safe at all. So uh, we would urge folks not to use these, especially small children. Uh, again, like I said, you can see how quickly uh, I've got this glove on, but it's already coming down uh, close to my hand. And of course, once what we see oftentimes, once it gets to this level, people are in grass, they throw it like this, they forget about it. The next thing you know, we've got a grass fire that could potentially uh, get close to a home or any type of other building uh, and cause a fire. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Definitely important things to keep in mind. And again, I want to highlight something else that he mentioned to have water nearby when you finish with those fireworks to make sure that they are completely out. Jordan, thank you.